Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Okay, uh, guys, I don't usually do, like, pre-video, post-video, pre but uh, this one, it was a bit confusing in a weird style and kind of slow, I thought, uh, in the beginning, but it, it ended up being one of the funnier uh, episodes I've watched, honestly. The second half, especially, of this was so great. Uh, so, uh, enjoy. S see ya, or here. Hi, guys. This, um, by the way, I, I kind of learned more things. This, uh, the office t-shirt, the, the blue, the color blue that it is, is very good for this green screen color, the standard green. And, uh, like you see, the black in the headphones is always really fuzzy and my hair is kind of fuzzy. I, I don't know what color my dark brown, I, I don't know, but, uh, that, that's interesting. I'm learning. So, uh... Standard, this is episode five. I feel like I don't have to say much because I'm assuming you watched the previous four. If you didn't, my name's Connor and I'm watching Faulty Towers. Let's go, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Did I say that? If not, I said it again. Or I let's go. Warty towels. Fort Anglia. This is so difficult for you to start. I mean, it's so basic. If you don't go, there's no point of having you. Mr. Faulty! Uh, Mr. Faulty! Manuel! Uh, Mr. Faulty! Uh, te telephone! What? Telephone! Uh, telephone! Um, uh, where's Sybil? Okay. Where's Sybil? Uh, where's the bill? No, no, no. Bill, I own the place. I don't pay bills. Where's my wife? She's not here. She is there. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Right, leave it to me. I'll do it. I'll mend the car and answer the telephone. In here, in here. Yes, I know it's in here. Uh, this way. Yes, yes, I know it's this way. I own the place. <laughs> Wait, so is this? Yes. Not? Oh, Andre, thank you for calling. Okay, it's marvellous. We're absolutely delighted with him. Really, Andre, he's wonderful. This Basil's wife. This Basil. This smack on head. <laughs> You're not trying to do it yourself, are you, Basil? Oh, have you seen this mark up here, dear? Did you hear what I said? Yes, uh, I did, dear. From scratch. Take it into the garage, Basil. Yes, just having a look at it, dear. Sorry, Andre, where was I? Oh, yes, well, he's the best chef we've ever had. We can't thank you enough for finding him for us. Look, can you come and have dinner on Sunday? There's something we want to ask your advice about. <laughs> OK, lovely. See you then, then. <laughs> Hello, Polly. Can you come and have a drink? Polly. Sporty? Drink. I've just sold a sketch. Really? I'd love to. Oh, you guys... Hello. He's his... Hello. All right, I promise Tom? I'll shut up. I, I I can't. It's a show. But you guys told me that that's, this is John Cleese's wife. Ah, no pausing during show time. Sketch. Really? I'd love to. Hello. Hello. Kurt, Andre can come on Sunday. I want you taking the car in. Hmm? Are you at those again? I just took one, dear. I think you've had enough of those, Basil. Now, will you deal with the car, please? Good, Mr. Faulty. Superb car. For you, Mr. Faulty? Well, thank you, Polly. Are you going to do the car? In a moment, my little piranha fish. What's the <laughs> I've just sold a sketch. What, for money? I bought it, Mr. Faulty. She's very talented. Oh, no, Polly, I oh, won't. Oh, come on. No, thank you. Oh, please, I bought it to thank you. No, honestly. Don't you like it? Too much, but not when I'm working. You drink it for me, Manuel. Well, cheerio. Cheerio, Basil. Well, that smells nice. <laughs> Here it is, Mr. Faulty. She's really got something, you know. Really? Well, worth 50p, anyway. Yes, do you, uh, do you win a bun if you guess what it is or something? It's Manuel. 
What? It's me! Where? <laughs> Manuel is my friend. We are good friends, eh? Oh, see? Si. Yeah, it's very modern, very socialist. <laughs> yeah, something to remember him by, you know, when he goes. Do you still hear, Basil? No, I went a couple of minutes ago, dear, but I expect that. Like <laughs> oh, no, no, Manuel. Look. Like this. It's me. <laughs> oh, I like that. Will you do me one? Really? A Manuel? Yes, yeah, look nice on Basil's bedside table. <laughs> Two and a day. That's as many as Van Gogh sold in a lifetime. Ah, but he didn't have Manuel as a model, eh? <laughs> He's almost as good as you, Andre. Mm. He's absolutely divine, Basil. Go on, have a bit. Mm, it is good, isn't it? I'll listen to him. The only place I've ever really seen him eat is your restaurant, Andre. And now he's stuffing it away like a hamster. Really, Sybil. We're going to have to buy him a great big wheel to run around him when he's got a man. <laughs> or he'll get like a big, bad tempered tomato. I believe we were discussing the gourmet evening, dear. Do you know, Andre? Burst his zip this morning. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter, darling? You're embarrassing Andre. No, dear, I'm embarrassing you. Look at that. Well, I'd better go and have a word with the guests. Why don't you have another vat of wine, dear? Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, evening, Major. Enjoying your soup? Well, it tasted a bit off to me, for dear. Uh, well, it's made with fresh mushrooms, Major. Ah, that would explain it. <laughs> Everything to your satisfaction? Oh, well, yes, uh, I don't like the chips. Sorry? The chips are awful. Oh, dear, what's uh, what's wrong with them, then? They're the wrong shape and they're just awful. Shut I'm up, afraid he gets kid. everything cooked the way he likes it at home. Ah, uh, does he, does he? Yes, I do, and it's better than this chips garbage. Now, Ronald, these eggs look like you laid them. Ronald! <laughs> uh, look, 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 look here, old chap. Shut up! Leave him alone. He's very clever, rather highly strung. Yes, yes, he should be. <laughs> These are proper French fried potatoes. You see, the chef is continental. Couldn't you get an English one? Why don't you eat just one or two, dear? They're the wrong shape. Oh, dear. What shape do you usually have? Mickey Mouse shape? Smarty shape? Amphibious landing craft shape? <laughs> Poke in the eye shape? God, you're dumb. Oh, now? Is there something we can get you instead, Sonny? I'd like some bread and salad cream. To eat? Well, there's the bread and there's the mayonnaise. I said salad cream, stupid. <laughs> we don't have any salad cream. The chef made this freshly this morning. What a dump. No, th 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 this is very good. He likes salad cream. That's puke, that is. Well, at least it's fresh puke. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, he said it. May I ask why you don't have proper salad cream? I mean, most restaurants... Well, the, uh, the chef usually buys it only on special occasions, you know, gourmet nights and so on. But um, when he's got a bottle... Oh, he's a genius with it. He can unscrew the cap like Robert Carrier. It's a treat to watch. And then... Right there. <laughs> Not on the walls. Magic, mind you. He's a wizard with a tin opener, too. He's got a Pulitzer Prize for that. He can have the stuff in the saucepan before you can say haute cuisine. You name it, he'll heat it up and scrape it off the pan for you. Mind you, still like that isn't picked up overnight. Still, I'll tell him to get some salad cream. I mean, you never know when Henry Kissinger's going to drop in, do you? Oh, oh. sorry. Sorry. Is there... Uh, nice man. He did some good uh, acting, by the way. I think it's a very good idea. You do really? I promise you, people around here are getting more and more keen on good food. Uh, so much for the night's guests, ignorant rabble. Uh, there's always a few, Mr. Fulton. Well, not on gourmet night. There won't be none of these prowls. <laughs> <laughs> well. Andre thinks Thursday nights would be best. Thursdays? Mm, I think so. Right, and on all the other nights, we'll just have a big trough of baked beans and garnish it with a couple of dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's settled then. Good. And I'm very pleased for Kurt, too. It will be good for him to have something special to do. Mm. I'd like to have a word with him. Do you mind? No, of course not. Right, well, I'll get the menus printed on Monday. Polly can do the menus. No, she can't. Yes, she can. No, she can't. Yes, she can. No, she can't. Yes, she can. No, she can. You can write the advertisement in the Echo. Only don't make it too toffy, nose Basil. We don't want to put people off. I just want to keep the riffraff away, dear. Well, good luck, Simple my old scares. friend. It's good to have you down here. Thank you for, well, uh, you know... Don't mention it. Nice to have met you, Manuel. Uh, he's my friend. Oh, one night I cook you both paella. <laughs> OK, and Kurt, uh, hmm? You don't trust me. Ciao. Ciao. Manuel, together you and I make faulty towers famous for its cooking. OK. 
excellent, tip top, famoso. Oh, you are so cute. Mm. He is the best. And well, guys, wh why am I getting a different feeling from this episode that it, it's like the cuts to black and it almost feels like a play? Or a, I'm not saying it's bad or it's just, I, I'm getting like a. Uh, oh, so cute. Mm. <laughs> Manuel. Manuel. Oh. Get a clean one. It's clean now. Oh. Dirty now. Do you like the menu, Mr. Forty? No, I don't. Oh, good. What? Thank you. Thank you so much. Give it to me. Give it to me. And go. <laughs> well, Basil, guess who just called to cancel at 12 minutes past seven? Who? The Coosters. What, all four? Marvellous, isn't it? Ah! What do they say? One of them's ill. Well, let's hope it's nothing trivial. <laughs> you like the four people at our grand opening dinner. Never mind, never mind. Never mind, there's four people, Basil. Shall we feed them in the kitchen? But think who those four are, Colonel and Mrs Hall, both JPs and Lionel Twitchin, one of Torquay's leading Rotarians. Well, that'll put us on the map. Is this your treasurer, dear? One of Torquay's leading Rotarians. Well, that'll put us on the map. Just... Is this your treasurer, dear? I should never have let you write that advert. Fancy putting no riff raff. Well, when you're presenting haute cuisine, you don't want the working class sticking its nose in it. Everything all right? Where's Kurt? He and Manuel are getting the wine from the cellar. Right. Ah, oh, this is what it's you're all perfect, about. You're perfect, Polly. You too. They're supposed to be in your rooms. What? You're not allowed down here tonight, remember? Oh, doesn't it look pretty? What are you cooking? I'll send you up a menu with your bread and cheese. Now, forget <laughs> it. Forget it. They're here. What? The halls are here. Right. Do the your halls, rooms go to your rooms. Mr. Fawlty. Mr. Fawlty, I'm very upset. No, no, Manuel, later. <laughs> oh, when I went for my jog this morning, I thought it was going to be pretty warm. But in the event, of course, it turned out to be pretty cool, really. Uh, then it began to cloud up this afternoon, quite contrary to the weather forecast, naturally. And uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be a bit surprised if we got a spot of rain tonight. Still, it's been a lovely summer, hasn't it? Oh, yes? Ah, put... Colonel, how delightful to see you again. Sorry? How delightful to see you again. Uh, we met last year at the golf club dinner dance. You may remember? No, I don't. Ah, fine. Well, we, we didn't talk for long. Just good evening, really, you know. A blink in the eye, and you'd have missed it. As indeed you did. <coughs> Quite understandably. <laughs> Sorry? What are you <laughs> hmm? Well, uh, how's that lovely daughter of yours? She's dead. <laughs> oh, that's your super. Isn't that super? The way those stripes go up and down.